my poem crusades dedicated to a free world void of evangelical persecuted cross but full of true jesus yeshua's love imagine the invisible power class that passed the 911 terror bug to virtual al qaeda casting spells on media scholars and academia convincing lawmakers lawkeepers judges and lawyers preaching hegemony mantra that serves us nato israel better rewarding all who contributed to 911 related disasters gaining steam from illegal invasion of afghanistan and iraq preparing allied power for unilateral third world war against the naturally competitive developing world reviving the zeal of medieval crusading adventures following the pattern of the first and second world wars uniting nato countries against newly defined evil doers restricting air travel to targeted regions as dangerous melting economies sending market into chaos forcing victims to take protective measures silencing residents of ancient origin injecting fear piling them up in concentration camps for war on terror enforcing faith based media tactics of evangelicals the monster will have it all for prophesized armageddon the spell this time would even be stronger using weapons of mass destruction and pandemic virus the devastation will surpass previous angelic angers as the evangelic cross marches towards new world order posed by kolke what are the reasons for all modern crusades since world war 1 quote i contain that we are the first race in the world and that the more of the world we inhabit the better it is for the human race if there be a god i think that what he would like me to do is paint as much of the map of africa british red as possible unquote british zionist cecil rhodes who advocated the british empire re-annexing the united states of america and reforming itself into an imperial federation to bring about a hyperpower how to and for the establishment promotion and development of a secret society the true aim and object where up shall be for the extension of british rule throughout the world the perfecting of a system of emigration from the united kingdom and of colonization of british subjects of all lands where the means of livelihood are attainable by energy labor and enterprise and especially the occupation by british settlers of the entire continent of africa the holy land the valley of the euphrates the islands of cyprus and candia the whole of south america the islands of the pacific not here to fore possessed by great britain the whole of the malay archipelago the seaboard of china and japan the ultimate recovery of the united states of america as an integral part of the british empire roads included american students as eligible for the roads scholarships he said that he wanted to breed an american elite of philosopher kings who would have the united states rejoin the british empire and that's all court in order to save the 40 million inhabitants of the united kingdom from a bloody civil war our colonial statesmen must acquire new lands for settling the surplus population of this country to provide new markets the empire as i have always said is a bread and butter question food for thought for all all citizens now food for thought for all christians around the world all yeshua loving christians is in cross a pagan graven image anti christian before god part 10 commandments god bless our world towards peaceful coexistence